the two rows of twining started here and here. So my next weaving, I want to start on a different side of the basket. I've decided to use black and purple because I like these colors together with the teal. These are wider. These are about 5 eighths of an inch. So finding the bad side. This is kind of deceiving because this curves this way, but that's the bad side. So because it was so curvy, and I want it to go this way, and it has been in the water, so I'm just going to curve it around backwards so that it doesn't fight me so much. Now when I decide where to start, whether I'm on the outside or the inside, I want to look at not the twining, but the row before it. And so I want to go opposite of that one. That happens to be where I overlapped that row, so I want to still turn it farther. And I want to start on the outside of this because it's opposite. I'm going to close pin to secure it. And then over, under, over, under. The exact same way you were doing with the natural. Now you might want to close pin over here to keep this from flying apart when you take this off to end it. Because see how this is already trying to push back? So we're going to overlap that. This piece does not quite make it to four, so I'm going to overlap it to two. So this is one, two, trim it, tuck it in, and then I go ahead and clip that. Turn to the next side. It doesn't really have a side, it's round, but if you can imagine it, just imagine four quadrants, and that's what I'm calling a side. That's where I started and stopped, so I'll go over here, check for the bad side. That looks like it's not too bad, but then when you bend it, boy, the hairs really will start popping up, so we'll flip it to the other side. And I do my little shortcut of taking it under and then extending it over. See this big, long, hairy piece? See how that... It can pull off if you're lucky like that. I should have cut that, though. If it was a piece of color, it would have pulled, pulled the dye off of it. And then I would have been just a little bit upset with myself that... I was too lazy to pick up my scissors and just cut it. So we're back to the beginning again. We're overlapping one and two. Just going to speed up here a little bit because you're seeing the same thing again. Bad side. It's that side. Start, stop. Turn around over to this part. This time I did not put a clothespin on the end because I'm getting a little farther up into the basket and I don't feel quite so insecure. Except that I should have because it kind of tightened up on me. Alright, so lesson for you to learn that you might want to go ahead and secure that. But I just fixed it. This one's, uh, this one's long enough to overlap four, so I'm going to go ahead and overlap it four. So that's one, two, three, and then at four, I'm going to cut and tuck that in again. There we have our three rows of colored in the wider pieces, and I will show you the next segment how to do the twining again.